What happened? Why you are so restless? I made a mistake, sir. Terrible mistake. I divorced my wife. I divorced my wife, sir. Don't worry. We do not accept instant divorces by husbands. But I heard it is Sharia law. It is Hanafi and Shafi law that accepts instant divorce by husbands. But we don't, we, we don't accept it. We reject it. We accept Hanbali law that rejects instant divorce. So you are okay. But it is not instant divorce, sir. I divorce her by due process of three months. Your divorce is complete and valid, Umar. Now, you must leave in separate homes. Your daughter will be with your wife until she is seven and your boy until nine. And then, and then only you can get them back. I repent now. She is crying and crying. Please help me, sir. Help my family, help my home. I can't. Nobody can. This is God's law based on chapter 2, verse 229 and 230. But we love each other. We want to remarry, sir. You can remarry her. But only after she is married to someone else, has physical intimacy with him, and then be divorced by him or he dies. Physical intimacy with another man? It is absurd. You want to make a mockery of Sharia law? You want to play with God's law? How many times I told you to be mindful about your marriage and your wife? It was a mistake, sir. I'm sorry. It was a blunder. Please help my family. Help me. Sorry, Omar. I wish I could help you. This is God's law. Your divorce is valid and complete. And now nobody can help. I start cooking after I got home from work. You could finish your cooking before you went to work this morning. There was nothing in the fridge. I had to go to grocery after work. I came home after four. You spent two hours for grocery? Where else did you go? What are you trying to imply? I have to work. I have to do grocery. I have to cook. Still, I have to listen to your twisted remark. Is it your day off today? Why didn't you go for grocery in the morning? I never ask you where I have you been whole day. It is not necessary to tell you where I have been. But it is my right to know where my wife is. I have the same rights. If you don't have to tell me, then I don't have to tell you either. That's why in Islam women are not allowed to go outside for work. The same old game again. You men bring in religion when you lose in logic. Isn't you who got me into job so I can help you in the household expense? I'm surprised to see your respect towards me. You won't even find a space in hell. You lost my respect the day I noticed you love religion more when it suits your interest. You compelled me to leave my religion and embarrass Islam to marry you. You should be honored for having embraced Islam. I would if I could have embraced Islam of my free will. I was young and I didn't know Islam. Now I know Quran allows Muslim to marry Christian and Jew. Now I have 
to learn this stuff from you. Hell with it. I'm going to dine outside. Fatima, what's wrong with you? Why, Ali? You look serious. You seem to be lost in something. Hmm? Ali, did you study Sharia the Islamic law? I study everything, but why suddenly Sharia law? You know Dad is the Imam and judge of the Sharia court. He has all the Sharia books. I'm studying it now. What? Studying Sharia law? Don't do that, Fatima. Why? It's God's law. If you study Sharia law, You'll go crazy. And you'll drive me nuts. But I want to know. Better not to know. At times, ignorance is a blessing. Don't say that. Ali, what do you think about Sharia law? What I think about Sharia law? Okay. Well, be a good girl and answer my questions. <laughs> okay. Dogs sweat through their tongue. True or false? What does that have to do with Sharia law? Just answer my question. Dogs sweat through their tongue. True or false? True. Next, snakes hear sounds through their tongues. True or false? True. Correct. Next, there's a fish that lays eggs out of water. True or false? Fish lay eggs out of water? False. Wrong. There is a fish which lays eggs on solid ground outside of water. What? I don't believe it. Go and Google search Splash Tetra. You'll see its picture as well. It splashes water on its eggs using its tail. And when the babies are born, they drop into the water. So its name is Splash Tetra. Oh yeah? Yes ma'am. You know why I asked you these questions? Why? To show you that our ability to believe is limited. You're studying Sharia law. You will face many such unbelievable truths. Such as? Such as? One. There are five sets of God's law, often contradictory to each other. Two, none of the Sharia Imams wanted schools of law against their names. Three, they didn't want their laws to be enacted as state law. Four, they wrote very little, others added laws in their names after their deaths. Five, many laws are against the Quran, the Prophet, and justice. Six, there are serious contradictions among the laws on the same issue. Seven, the first impact of Sharia law was violent fragmentation of Muslim society. 8. Followers of Imam Hanifa killed Imam Shafi. 9. Khalifa severely tortured all four Imams. And 10. Khalifa killed Imam Hanifa in prison. Stop. Stop. I can't take it anymore. I know. I know it's hard. Many laws are against women too. So, why are these called God's law? I feel so bad about our lower status in marriage, divorce, inheritance, witness. Many girls I know almost left Islam in their mind. No wonder. For 1400 years, we looked at human rights through the lens of faith. And the results have been disastrous. Now it's time to look at faith through the lens of human rights.
How long will it take to dissolve our marriage, Imam? I can't take it anymore. I am talking to Yusuf about your application of divorce. That has been going on for last six months. Every single day has become burden on me. This is whole law of Sharia. We have to follow Sharia law and that takes time, Zulekha. Tell me, Imam, husband can divorce his wife so easily. Why it is taking so long for me? You can check this law in Hanafi Law Hidayah, page 112, Shafi Law Umdat Al Salih, law number N50, or Sharia the Islamic Law of Dr. Abdul Rahman Doi, page 192, etc. A husband can divorce his wife, but if a wife wants to divorce her husband, she has to apply to the Sharia court, and then the Sharia court would negotiate with her husband for his permission because marriage cannot be dissolved without his permission. Yusuf is asking $10,000 from you to agree to the uh, application of divorce. $10,000? I don't have that kind of money. He also wants you to give up the monthly maintenance from him and your right on the property. That is sheer injustice. Why should I not claim my legal rights? God's wisdom is in these laws. I'm telling you again, Zulekha, try to make a compromise. Try it. Compromise? <sighs> Our marriage ended the day he beat me. He is lucky that I didn't call the police. I know, Zulekha. Most of the wives who are beaten do not call police. I arranged anger management course for him, but he never went. Anger management? Is that the best you can do when a husband beats his wife? Zulekha, we are not part of the government. We do not have judicial authority. There's nothing better we can do. Imam, please finish it as soon as possible. I cannot live with him in the same house anymore. Yusuf is coming tomorrow. I will talk to him again. Salam. Wa alaikum salam. Your car needs an oil change. Yusuf, you should reduce your demands and agree to divorce her. You know she does not have the means to pay you $10,000. She also needs your monthly maintenance and share of your property. I don't care. I don't care. I won't reduce my demand. Listen, Yusuf. When a wife applies for divorce, we know that her back is already on the wall. Women try their best to keep the home from baking. You already hit her once. She, she did a favor to you by not calling police. Sharia law allows me to discipline my wife. Isn't that right? But there are conditions attached. Condition? Who in the home watches a husband fulfilling those conditions? Anyway, anyway, she can 
She can keep her little earning. I don't care. I simply don't care. Tell me what a husband is to provide a wife. I will comply. There are clear stipulation in Sharia law for a husband as to what he is to provide to his wife. These are in Hanafi law Hidayah, page 140. Shafi law, Umdat al Salik. Law number M114, M119. And also in page 857 of the Quranic Tafsir, printed in Saudi Arabia. A husband is obliged to provide clothes, accommodation, and food to his obedient wives. About cosmetics, it's not a must. About medicine, it is a must only in case of childbirth. Anything beyond this is a charity to her. I will provide her all those. Please follow the Sharia law and ask her to agree to my demands. Why don't you understand? Your income is high and hers is low. Yusuf, don't you think you are being unjust to her? I'm only following the Sharia law. A marriage cannot be dissolved unless I agree. That is right. Husbands can divorce their wives at will, but wives have to go through Sharia court to divorce their husbands. Hmm. Still, the decision depends on the husband's approval. Hmm? What hmm? Isn't it injustice to us? Hmm. Again hmm? Can't you talk? Your dad is wrong. Wrong? How? That's Sharia law. I've brushed up my study on Sharia law. Uh, both the Quran and the Prophet gave women absolute right of divorce without depending on anybody. Even if it went against the wishes of the Prophet. Even if it goes against the wishes of the Prophet? Yes, ma'am. I made these printouts for you. Take a look at these references and uh, give them to your dad.
Here is Zuleikha's check in your name of ten thousand dollars and the divorce certificate and the other agreements. So where she got the money from? She doesn't have that kind of money. She borrowed the money from her credit cards. They will rip her off with high interest. I don't need this. What happened? I made a home with her to live life, not to break it. I, I never wanted her to leave me. What do you mean by you don't need this? It was you who asked for it. I put tough conditions only to make it difficult for her to leave me. I thought she would fail to meet my demands and Sharia law would force her to stay with me. I thought, I thought time would be our best healer. Now that I failed, I don't want anything. So what you want to do now? It is not that a man needs a woman. A man needs his woman. She was and still she is my woman. My Valentine forever. Okay. Now what you want to do with your valentine? Tell her I will gift her a house and move out to an apartment. I will pay her her maintenance also. I will, I will always be there in her needs. Yes, daughter. Marriage is dissolved the moment a wife wants. What? How? Without husband's permission? Yes, Dad. The Quran and Prophet gave women absolute right to dissolve their marriage on their own, without depending on anybody. What you are talking about? You mean to say Sharia law violated the Quran and Prophet? Sharia law? Go to the Quran, Dad. Go to the Prophet. Read it. Sahih Bukhari, Volume 7, Hadith 206. Also read Hadith 199. Narrated Ibn Abbas. The wife of Thabit bin Qais bin Shammas came to the Prophet and said, O oh Allah's Apostle, I do not blame Thabit for any defects in his character or his religion, but I am afraid that I may become unthankful for Allah's blessings. On that, Allah's Apostle said, Will you return his garden to him? She said, Yes. So 
she returned his garden to him and the prophet told him to divorce her. Quranic explanation by Muhyiddin Khan, page 271, states that when Barira denied the Prophet's wish, he granted her a divorce. The Quran also forbids keeping wives against their will in Nisa 19. You are forbidden to inherit women against their will, nor should you treat them with harshness that you may take away part of the dower you have given them. The word dower proves that this instruction is about wives. Read Hadith 188. The Prophet's wife, Bibi Aisha, made a statement about chapter Ahazab, verse 28. The Quran gave the Prophet's wife the right to leave him. Sahih Bukhari, Volume 7, Hadith 206. Narrated in Abbas, Barira's husband was a slave called Mugit, as if I see him now going behind Barira and weeping with his tears flowing down his beard. The Prophet ﷺ said to Abbas, O oh Abbas, are you not astonished at the love of Mugit for Barira and the hatred of Barira for Mugit? The Prophet ﷺ then said to Barira, Why don't you return to him? She said, O oh Allah's Apostle, do you order me to do so? He said, No, I only intercede for him. She said, I am not in need for him. You can fix it. You can fix it by the power of the Quran and Prophet.
I call you here, Omar, for a reason. Where is your wife now? She is with her parents. Kids are with her. And I am ruining, sir. Your marriage was dissolved by Sharia law based on chapter 2, verse 229. But we have a right to use the Quran and the Prophet for our benefit in our time, in our circumstances. I will get you married based on Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 232. You know what it says? It says, when you divorce your women and they fulfill their terms, do not prevent them to marry their former husbands if they mutually agree on equitable terms. We are also supported this marriage by the Prophet himself. This is Sahih Ibn Majah, Volume 3, Hadith 1847. Ibn Abbas, Allah be pleased with him, reported that Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, We do not see anything like marriage for two loving persons. You said you and your wife love each other and want to live each, with each other, right? Yes. Bring her and I will conduct your remarriage. Sir? This pill doesn't work. Rather, it upsets my stomach. I have to go to the doctor to get a new pill. But they say it is the product of years of research by many scientists. So what? We are consumers of the end product, like computers, television, cars. We throw it if it doesn't work, isn't it? <laughs> That's true, Dad. That's true. Sir, I need to talk to you regarding mosque committee. Mosque committee? What happened with the mosque committee? Come, let's sit and talk. Okay. Sir, you established this mosque 10 years ago. Yes, and I am happy that my student, you, is its president today. Sir, I know how much money, time and dedication you spend for this mosque. That's okay, that's okay. Now, exactly what happened with the mosque committee? Sir, other imams of this city complain against you. They are saying that you are violating the Sharia law. What? How? You gave women the right to divorce on their own without applying to Sharia court. Not me, but the Quran and the Prophet gave women those rights. They are furious, sir. I am under tremendous pressure. You tell me what I can do. Tell them. Tell them to talk to me. I will show them all the documents from the Quran, from the Hadiths. Sir, you know how much I respect you. But all the Imams are against you. How can I go against them? Don't worry, Osman. 
I have enough referential strength from the Quran, from the Prophet to convince them, to convince the whole world. So, how is everything? Everything is fine, sir. Everything is fine. Alhamdulillah. Sir, I came to, I came here to give you one more trouble, sir. Sorry, sir. Trouble me? Sir, uh, you remember uh, you conducted our marriage? <laughs> Indeed, I do. It was a rainy day. Your clothes were all wet. You know what they say? Marriage is conducted in rainy days, last forever. So, how is your family, Abu? Oh, they are, they are fine, sir. They are fine. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, but, uh, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm here with the same request again, sir. Sir, uh, you have to conduct our second marriage, sir. Please. What? Why? Did you divorce your first wife? No, sir. Uh, she, she's okay. She's okay. She is fine. Actually, she's an excellent wife. But, uh, you know, sir, uh, I mean, I like another woman, sir, and I like to marry her. No. No. You have some money now, and you want to marry another woman. Listen, Abu. Women's life and dignity are not people's toys to play with. But, sir, Sharia law allows me to do that, sir. A lot of people doing this. Sir, financially, I'm in a good position. I have two houses. They will stay separately. And I will, I will maintain the equal, you know, sir, what I mean. Abu, Prophet called such marriage haram. Haram. Haram? Doesn't Sharia law, doesn't Sharia law allow me to go for four wives? If, if I able to maintain the same equality among them? Yes, Sharia law does, but the Quran and Prophet do not. Listen up, come to the Quran, come to Prophet. Listen, look at me. Sahih Bukhari, volume 4. 342, volume 5, 76, and volume 7, 157 tells us that the Prophet did not allow his son-in-law, Hazrat Ali, to marry another woman. He did not? We haven't heard this before. Nobody is telling us this kind of thing. No, he did not. Not once, but twice. You know what he said? He said, he wouldn't turn a haram into halal. So, then who, who made this halal for all Muslims when a prophet himself made it haram for Hazrat Ali? That is the point, Abu. Listen, look at me. We get the context and purpose of the polygamy verse of the Quran in chapter 4, verse 3. We get the context and purpose in Sahih Bukhari, Volume 7. Hadith is 35, 59 and 62. Such marriage, polygamy is allowed only from within orphan girls. Strictly from orphan girls? Yes. And this notion is supported by verse 127 of chapter 4. You know what word that verse uses? Yatama. You know what is Yatama? Yatama means girls who lost their fathers. What else you want? And what you are talking about maintaining them equally? Open verse 129 in the Quran, it says that you cannot maintain equality even if you try. Abu, women's rights and dignity and honor are not our toys to play with. Abu, so sad that we are still continuing the patriarchal conspiracy against Islam to dominate women.
Sir, what you are doing? Have you gone crazy? Usman, you did not say salam to me. Sorry, sir. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. What happened? Sir, all imams of our city says you are overpowered by the devil and you are ruining the mosque. I am ruining the mosque I established? Just how? They sent us a letter. They got together to create a movement against you. So, what is their complaint? They say you gave women right to divorce. You did not allow polygamy. All those are perfectly sanctioned by the Quran and the Prophet. Ask them to see it with me. They say they won't discuss with an apostate. They are calling me apostate? How dare they? Whoever claims himself or herself a Muslim is a Muslim. Check the Quran, chapter 4, verse 94. Go to the Prophet, Sahih Bukhari, volume 4, Hadith 293. They are violating both the Quran and the Prophet, Usman. The mosque committee met this evening and they removed you from the mosque. I am removed from the mosque I established. Sorry, sir. I tried my best. I couldn't stop it. I will resign tomorrow. Usman, can't you realize a global conflict between progressive and conservative Muslims are coming up? Don't leave. Don't quit. Don't leave the organizations to them. They will be piranhas. They will utilize our mosques and Islamic institutions to further their political agenda. They already succeeded in portraying Islam as a violent religion. Don't quit. Don't quit. Sir, I can't take it anymore. Talk to next generations. Talk to them. Everybody will be punished for robbery, theft, drinking, adultery and murder. Except one. You know who? <laughs> Head of Islamic State. This is Darn Sharia law. Codified Islamic Law, Volume 3, Law Number 914C, and also Hanafi Law Hidayah, page 188. Listen again. The criminals of genocide will not be punished if they repent. Codified Islamic Law, Volume 1, Law Number 13. You know, Usman, when I go to bed, shadows surround me. Shadows of countless women who were destroyed by these laws for centuries. Shadows of women whom I have destroyed by these laws. Something must be done. Someone, somewhere must do something about it. It cannot go like this in the name of our religion. Muslims must know that the women oppression by Sharia laws comes from the violation of the Quranic verses. You want to know another example? Listen, codified Islamic law, volume 1, law number 344. Codified Islamic law, volume 1, law number 344. You know what it says? Witness is not a condition for a husband to divorce his wife. Now, Go and open the Quran. Surah Talaq, verse 2. What the Quran says. When you want to divorce your wives, keep two witnesses from amongst yourself. Got it. Got it, sir. I'll fight up to the last. Bless me. Salaam alaikum. God bless you. Wa alaikum salam Usman. Listen. Can you take this calculator for a second? Find the total of these figures. Are you going to listen to me? 
I'll listen to you later. First, let's figure out the budget. Don't you understand that we are going to buy a new house? We need to buy furniture, we need to buy furniture matching to the sofas, table lamps and so on. Are you upset? Of course, you always ignore me. No, 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 I was not ignoring you. I was just working on something. You need to pay more attention to me. I will, when I have to. But you know, I cannot multitask. Do you remember what you are supposed to tell me today? Yes, I remember. What was it? Tell me. You tell me. No, you. No, you. What is underneath your hand? Your heart. There is lots of love for you in that heart. If there is any love, then why isn't there any commitment to take me on vacation? The heart is full of love, and the commitment of taking you for a vacation is on my brain. I will take you for a vacation soon. Is that a word? I gave you my word. I'm not saying that I'll keep it.
of the end product like computers, television, cars, we throw it if it doesn't work. It's dead. That's true dad. That's true. For 1400 years, we looked at human rights through the lens of faith, and the results have been disastrous. Now it's time to look at faith through the lens of human rights. <laughs>